Ryan Reeves had Jay Farber all in and needed him to hit a five on the river to stay alive in the main event. Reeves went to the floor as he waited for the final card to be dealt. The dealer burned and turned the four of diamonds, securing the pot and the title of 2013 World Series of Poker Main Event Champion for the 23-year-old pro from East Lansing, Michigan. For the win, he earned the one-of-a-kind championship bracelet and the first place prize of over $8.3 million. Card Player TV caught up with him just after the win to learn more. It's just amazing. I've been, I was so excited waiting a hundred days or whatever it was to play this, and I, I'm, I'm really just speechless. I'm just so happy that all my friends and family are able to come out and watch me and support me, and it's just an amazing feeling. Before I pass it on, uh, you seem to really enjoy yourself at the table. You were probably smiling and laughing and, and really enjoying yourself more than others. Is that because of the cards and the good fortune you had? Or are you, are you really having a good time? Oh, I was having a great time. The cards and luck also help, obviously, but um, I love playing poker. It's one of my favorite things to do, and yeah, I have a good time at the table. Uh, when, when you had uh, Farmer on the ropes at the very end, and he catches the straight, he had the 10 jack, the 9 comes. Did you, uh, was that was that a, a hard card to watch, Paul? Um, kind of, but I wasn't too worried about it. I thought that I could chip away at him after that and grind him back down to 10 big blinds, which is what ended up happening. But obviously I wish I would have sealed the deal then, but I wasn't too worried about it. Ryan, the last card hits, you fall to the ground. What are you feeling in that moment? Just overwhelmed with joy. So happy, just started crying. Just, I was speechless. What would your parents say to you? They just said how proud of me are, of me they are, and that they loved me. And it was awesome. This entire night, everybody's chanting Reese the Beast. You reach the chant. The mindset hit yet? No, it probably won't hit for a while. Maybe tomorrow, but right now I'm just happy. I know you've probably gotten this question before, but now that you've done it, I mean, we, we maybe never seen a guy come in that's as confident as you. I mean, every interview you said you were going to win, you should be the favorite. Uh, wh wh where did that come from? I mean, how did you know this was uh, meant to be? Um, I've been dreaming about it for a long time. It's ever since I was 14 and saw Moneymaker win it. And uh, I just had a great feeling about it. I, the table was tough. Some people say it was the hardest final table, and it was really, the first day was extremely difficult. I was very fortunate and lucky to catch cards in the hell, but I just had a good feeling about everything. What are your thoughts on being an ambassador for the game? I'm extremely excited. I never would have thought this would happen years and years ago, especially this soon and or this early in my life, but I'm excited for what the future holds. Uh, Ryan, uh, as you mentioned, you were one of the people who played the circuit. The idea behind that is bringing people who might not be able to jump into an event like the main event, this big event, and kind of build their way up. Does it feel extra special knowing that you know that's how you came through, through kind of like the entry point and built your way up to the highest level of tournament poker? Yeah, uh, definitely. The circuit is actually a lot harder than most people think. A lot of the people that play the circuit crushed it this summer, winning multiple bracelets, and I think it's a great way for people who don't have $10,000 to just go play a $10,000 tournament. You can go to a circuit stop, bring a couple thousand, play multiple tournaments, and test your skill. I have to ask you about one more hand that we saw on the uh, process. You called with Queen High, and he had a flush with 9 7 plus. What happened over there? Um, I, I was picking up a lot on his body language and like facial tells, and when everyone was like screaming, he did the exact same thing that he did when he had six high, and I like initially I just wanted to fold. I just didn't believe him at all the whole hand, and knew he didn't have a king, and he just like bet so huge on the river and threw me off. It was either a flush or a complete error in my opinion. It was probably a really bad call, and I'm probably gonna be <laughs> criticized for it, but um. That's just the facial, just the read based on body language that I got off of. Did, did, you, did strategy change at that point because you had him so far down and then for all of a sudden you're going to be up at 70 at that point? Um, well, once he got up to 72 million or whatever he had, I started playing a lot more aggressive as you guys can probably tell. I was three betting him and four betting him, very light. and. Uh, I, because when he was short, I couldn't really do that. I had to play a little bit smarter. But once we got higher, I just decided to turn the pace up a little bit, just grinding back down to what he had before that. 
How are your experiences with uh, a live broadcast and uh, TV show? Everybody has an opinion on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, about all the hands you play. What were your experiences? Do you like it? Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be people like Scott Seaver, Says I Suck, and stuff like that. I, I honestly don't care. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Queen High call was probably really bad. I'll probably take some criticism for it, but I won. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Tonight you got respect from a whole lot of people in the Twitter sphere, including the Lions, which is pretty cool. What do you say to everybody out there that's been cheering you on? Uh, thank you for all the support. I couldn't have done it without my friends and family and the rail and all the supporters that I don't even know. It, uh, it means a lot to me. Hey, Ryan, you haven't heard this yet, but uh, Bill Simmons from ESPN said this was the greatest victory in Detroit Lions history. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did hear somebody say that earlier. <laughs> so why, why Calvin Johnson? Um, well, he's the best receiver of all time, in my opinion, definitely in the game today. And um, I'm from Detroit, and I'm a huge Lions fan. So, you think you think you'll hear from Calvin Johnson that you were wearing his jersey on this big night? Um, I didn't tweet at him. I heard some people were trying to get him to tweet at me, but I don't know if that happened. But um, yeah, I'm happy to represent him. He's the best. Have you heard about your nickname Bill Simmons gave you, Megatron Nowitzki? I did hear about that. <laughs> Any thoughts on it? Hey, I like it. Whatever they want to call me, I'm okay with it. You, uh, you say you don't know about the future, but we saw you play a 25K Euro tournament at the WSFD Euro. Um, at 8.3 million, you're going to be playing in bigger tournaments, 100Ks perhaps in the future? Um, I don't know about playing in, in any 100Ks unless I sell action or um, have, have a, get a backer for super high rollers. But as of this point, I now plan, plan on playing 100Ks on my own diamonds. Ryan, I heard that you started playing football when you were 14. Can you tell me more about that? Um, yeah, right after Moneymaker won the main event, right after the huge poker boom, I started playing... Um, in high school, in like in my basement, we played. I had like a ten-dollar home game that I ran twice a week, and just did that with all my friends. A lot of them are here that played it, and that's how we all got started. And I won all the time, which I thought was kind of weird. So I was like, maybe I should do this more often. So you said you've been dreaming about it. Obviously, it's a big dream of a lot of people who play poker. How does the reality compare to your dream? Um, it's amazing. I, it's exactly what I dreamt about. Everything, all the the streamers falling and all the everybody supporting me it's pretty amazing congratulations once again to ryan reese your 2013 world series of poker main event champion